Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Castillo from Linear Graphics and welcome to this very exciting tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you on creating the fish eye lens effect inside After Effects. Basically, a fish eye lens is a distortion where it provides a wild angle view on your videos and other kinds of stuffs. For example, as you can notice here, we have already a wild angle view. The sign of it is going to be there's a bigger view on the center and a smaller view on the sides of it that will provide like a paranormal. So, you know. That's pretty much it on how fisheye works. And we're gonna be creating that thing inside After Effects. Before we're gonna be starting, I'm gonna be showing you the bit the final render of this one. Okay, that's pretty much it. So as you can notice we already have some wild angle view there's a smaller one and there's a bigger part there and you can lot of do some stops there yeah do it and let's get started anyway so let's get started to create this one so let's get create a new composition I'm gonna be typing this fish eye and keep out the settings 1280 by 1280 30 frames 10 seconds okay so the first thing uh, here in a way basically in creating the fish eye lens effect we have a lots of stops and techniques they can use I'm gonna giving you some of them right now as you will understand them more in a way there's actually some advanced um, advanced way but you know it would just really ruins your mind in a way so let's get started with some of the basic ones so let's create a new just a uh, new solid we're gonna type this a background let's create a background inside of it with I'm gonna be generating a ramp uh, sorry I'm gonna be making this ramp a radial one and I'm gonna be just play around the settings Yeah, they're just talking around the background. Don't worry. It doesn't really matter. Play around the settings like this. Okay, I'm going to create some blue background. And create a text here. I'm going to place in fish eye. Okay, we have our text placed in the center. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you the first technique on creating fish eye as far as I know. So... I create first a new adjustment layer and search on this your warp warp in effects and preset or you can go to effects go to effects distort uh, where is that thing best your warp basically base your warp what it really does is actually change the it warps the whole video we have given points here so well we can change this anyway to create some nice result of a bit of a wild angle view so for example if I just uh, attach the whole thing and create some nice really we can actually distort the text inside of it making some kind of fish eye in this case you can see it's now displaced and I'm going to be revealing it more if I zoom this one you can notice that we create some uh, rounds uh, effect I think it's going to be that's how best your warp works really works okay um, in best your warp this is I think this is going to be some of the really advanced techniques in After Effects so far and it's gonna be something like this not really a friendly uh, technique for those or just uh, casual um, editors well who knows so best you are for me is gonna be really complicated because you need to actually take more time to uh, 
play around with this point to create a very nice result. So, you know, it's kind of really disappointing, right? Well, so that's how best your work works, guys. You need to take time for it and perhaps patience as well. Okay, so that's why we keep it around that thing. Let me delay this for a while. And I'm going to be proceeding right now on using some live footages to demonstrate the next uh, next technique on use on creating the fish eye lens. So I'm going to be importing my live footage. I'm going to place it on a round and just wait it. Okay, so we have this live footage. There's nothing special with it, you know. So there's nothing special. It's just really nice to view on. It's actually my house. And the next thing we have to use is use optics compensation. It's also under distort again, so you can go to effects, distort, and optics of compensation. Basically, optic compensation it just really means that you actually change the pillow view of it. Okay, and it's also a lens distortion again. Okay, when we play the settings of the field of view, as you can notice, we can actually ha um, s squeeze this footage. Okay, I'm going to be solving this for a while. So, as you notice, this footage is now already squeezed a lot. And we create, we kind of create a fish eye as you notice we have a wild view on the center and there's a smaller view on the side and we can demonstrate that if we zoom if we actually up the scale for a little bit as you notice we have a wild angle view and you can see the side here you can even side there and some kinds of steps that's pretty much it on using the optics compensation in this case um Compared to the best you are, op optics compensation provides you of some really easy to use uh, techniques, and it's also user friendly. It's only nice. Um, it's only nice um, settings rare. It's only really few of them. I'm not really um, familiar about the optics compensation because I'm not really using this a lot, but. I think this is going to be important is the field of view. So just play around the settings of field of view and just change the scale. Well, make sure guys also remember. I recommend to set up your footages on the high resolution settings to create a very nice result on doing the fish eye lens effect. That's pretty much it. Okay, so the next um Next procedure that I'm going to be using is also an easier one and probably this is the one that I usually like to use. Okay, so I'm going to be delayed this one and change the uh, settings back. Okay, so under effects and presets again, we're going to be using the CC Lens plugin. Under distort again, so let's do that again. CC Lens. What it basically does here, it's on more few settings, and you only have size and convergence. The size is basically, you have to change the size of the footage itself. So like this, for example. And the convergence is something like your distortion. Like that. Thing. Take note. Let's change the value of the convergence to somewhat like negative. And you can get the same result. And also change the size also to make it more squeeze like this. And as also I said, change the settings again as my previous example, uh, previous technique, just, you know. And you create this kind of effect. In my opinion, this is going to be a better one version, I think. So it's going to be some more cleans and few settings it just it will not hurt my brain in a way and i've been using this for many times already so i really know how to cope up with the cc lens effect so you know anyway that's pretty much it anyway so you already know um the three 
techniques that I given in the Bezier warp, the optics compensation, and the CC lens. So far, I'm gonna be comparing them all of them. So we have the Bezier warp. I think this is gonna be some of your advanced techniques because you're actually editing the points of it to make a nice result. We also have the optics compensation with a fewer settings and more simpler stops. And we have the simplest one here is the CC lens. That's pretty much it. And you can create and whatever you wanted to use, you can use um, any of the three of them depends on your user preference or something kinds of stops and just get it go. Okay. Let's proceed on our um, this one. This is one of my applications of using the CC lens and making some lens effect inside After Effects. Okay, so let's get started here. In this case, I have my footage here. So, I want to be with you forever because I feel so saying with you and I love with you with all your little things. Okay, so that's pretty much funny. Okay, so. As you notice, we already have our text pre-composed, and I basically, on my pre-composed text, I place there the CC land. I make the distortion out of itself so instead of actually end because I want I want the background to be just the background itself, and you know it's really important. It's only the text anyway, and just playing around the settings. I animate the camera. So make something like a movement there, and yeah, and that's CC lens in a way. You know, you you can create a lot of stuff like this, and you know, you have a wild angle view like this one. You know, okay, okay. So that's pretty much it, guys, and I hope you learn a lot from this tutorial. It's gonna be a really small. Um, really small and really simple but I know anyway um sorry if I something like I really ex didn't explain some of the parts it's gonna be my first one but I gotta be improving myself on providing some nice information about what you're gonna be doing right now so anyway that's pretty much it guys and I hope you learned something from doing this effect and no way, we're gonna be moving on the next few days. So here, here am I again, Josh Studio, and see you guys next time.